Hello, and what the heck is up, my Atlanteans? Okay, y'all, so um, while I'm gonna film this video, I'm gonna be eating my blizzard, my Dairy Queen blizzard. It's uh, basically like fun ice cream. I got the Royal Oreo like fudge one, and I always get a large because I love ice cream, in case you didn't know. I'm obsessed with ice cream. And if I don't eat it now, it will melt. So while I film this, I'm gonna... Why not? Okay, so you must be wondering why we're here today. So I'm super excited for this video, you guys. I'm going to get a tattoo. I have one other tattoo, in case you didn't know, it's supposed to be a mermaid. Can you see it? But this time, for sure, you're like, y'all are gonna see exactly what it is. I'm not gonna tell you. <sighs> I mean, you'll probably tell by the title, but I'm getting a Monster High tattoo. I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'm getting uh, Frankie's like skelet from Monster High, Frankie Stein skelet. I'm really excited. Um, I'm getting a Monster High tattoo for Star. Oh my God, that's it. That's just like so exciting to me. Frankie's literally my like favorite character and Monster High has been part of my life for such a long time, right? And it like kind of shaped me into who I am, I think. So yes, obviously I don't have it yet. This is just the intro. I'm getting it done tomorrow. So yeah, I just thought it'd be cute if like, while I'm at my mother's house, I could like film the intro. And then next time you see me, I'm gonna be showing you guys my outfit for the day. I am so excited. Ah! I love Monster High. I'm so excited for this tattoo. Ah! Okay, so yes, I will see y'all tomorrow. So here is me showing you guys my outfit. I wanted to do something like kind of edgy, you know? But it was also a special day, so I wanted to dress a little classy. Um, but it was also a tattoo appointment, so I needed to wear something comfy. Here's a spin for you. Hey, what is up, my dudes? So we just got... Oh, wait. No, what am I saying? It's day two, and <laughs> it's the day of my tattoo. Why do I look like... I need to fix that. Um, Alex and I were walking to the bus and then we're gonna go onto the train and I'm gonna go get myself taco time and then- Taco time? And then I'm gonna get my tattoo. How does it feel? Anyway, so next time you see me, I'll be eating taco time by myself in the food court. I didn't actually end up getting taco time because it was too far, but I got my most favorite food at my most favorite restaurant. So it was still cute. I've just been waiting for like the past like 20 minutes because I didn't want to get there too early. But now it's time to go. I'm like really excited and also very nervous, but mostly excited. Sorry, I sound like really congested. My allergies are like really bad right now. So I think it's been like two weeks since I've like filmed for this video. And now that it's like pretty much completely healed, I mean, it's not completely healed. I think it will take like a whole month for it to be <laughs> completely healed. But that's just like what it looks like now. And like, honestly, it looks really good already. So obviously you can see it is a Frankie Stein skullette. Yes, it looks so good. Do you like my shirt? I got a hot topic. So I thought it'd be cute if I kind of like sat down and talked about my tattoo with y'all and to talk about like the meaning behind it. I don't know, I thought that'd be cool. <sighs> Okay, so, so in case y'all don't know, in the beginning of this channel, I started out by making like doll restoration videos, more specifically for like Monster High dolls. So y'all can guess that I've been obsessed with Monster High for a while. Growing up, um, I, came, I came from like a really religious household. So it was like kind of hard for me to express myself and like the things that I liked without um, conditions. I remember always wanting a Monster High doll and like later on in the Monster High years I would resort to getting like the little Mega Bloks characters which I love like they're so cute. My first ever Monster High doll was a Jackson Jekyll doll. The the Skull Shores one. Is it Skull Shores or Gloom Beach? Gloom Beach. But of course like 
I only got him because he was a boy. But I've always wanted like one of like the main characters. So with this whole resurgence of Monster High, all the talks about like the reboot, the reproduction dolls coming out, and kind of just like in pop culture, Monster High is kind of coming back. Brings me back to a place in 2015, like right before the, the reboot where I got like my first job. And I remember walking through Walmart and being like, wait, I can buy whatever I want. So my first ever Monster High doll was an original Ghouls Frankie Stein. That is why I specifically got Frankie. That's why she was my favorite character, not specifically because of her character in the show, but just the significance of her to me in my collecting life. Monster High was always kind of this like safe place for me. Their first ever slogan, be yourself, be unique, be a monster. That one always resonated with me because like, as I said, like it was kind of hard to appreciate the things that I liked. And that slogan and what Monster High stood for just reminded me that I was different. We're all different and we can't change that. And because we can't change that, we should embrace it. So I like to say that Monster High is kind of the reason for who I am today. It kind of helped me establish who I am and like my style, the things that I liked. Um, my goth phase was very much inspired by Monster High. I also have a very like deep connection. <laughs> the story of Frankenstein as well, which is another reason why I love Frankie so much is because of her parents. The story of Frankenstein always resonated with me because there was this, like there's a whole debate on, is he a monster? Is he the villain? And for me personally, I always saw, I never saw him as a villain. I never saw him as the bad guy. In fact, I kind of saw myself in him in a way because I was so, kind of like locked down for so long. By the time I was able to go out and express myself, I was kind of like a baby. I didn't, I didn't know anything. <laughs> and just like Frankenstein, he's a bunch of like body parts mixed together. Um, Not a single piece of experience. It was all just trauma. <laughs> I always saw him as misunderstood. So I guess the underlying lesson for Frankenstein for me is that just because you're different or just because you are a certain way, that doesn't make you the villain of the story. That doesn't make you a monster. Or I guess in like the, the way that it's in a bad connotation monster, you know? And that, and like, of course, like I always saw myself as like the different one the different one the black sheep of the family like i was like growing up in church like i was always the weird one because i didn't look a certain way because i didn't act or talk a certain way and that kind of made me feel like a monster and that brings me back to why i appreciate monster high and that it's a place where monsters aren't bad or like it doesn't have that bad connotation behind it okay <laughs> That was like kind of deep and like a little emotional. But yeah, I'm like really happy that I'm able to like tell my story to you guys and that there's like a platform where I can talk at all and that there's people that will listen and like connect and like we, so there's people that have the same story and we can all like communicate. But yeah, that's basically the story behind my tattoo. Uh. And that is everything for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Hit me up on the links in the description. Let me know what y'all think about the direction that Monster High is going towards. Let me know what y'all think about the tattoo. Do you think it's fugly? <laughs> or do you think um, I should get another one? <laughs> and I'll see y'all on the flip side. Bye-bye.